Namaskar, this is me Samsar Ansari, your science teacher. Today we are going to discuss the new lesson, Simple Machine. So let's start. So what is Simple Machine? We already know that Simple Machine is a device or an instrument which is simple in structure and makes our work easy, fast and safe. This kind of device are called the Simple Machine. For example, a spoon helps in eating and it is a simple machine. Similarly, a broom helps to sweep our floor which is also a simple machine. Simple machine makes our work easier by the following ways. The first way is by transferring force from one point to another point. It means that in simple machine, we are applying force at one point but the work is being done at the another point. Similarly, by magnifying the applied force means by using simple machine, if we use only 5 Newton force, then the 5 Newton force will help to do us 10 Newton work, which is very high. Similarly, it also increases the speed of doing work, means by using simple machine, we can do the work faster. Without using simple machine, if you do in one hour, then by using simple machine, we can do it in 15 minutes also. Similarly, simple machine also helps to do the work easily by changing the direction of the force. It means we are applying the uh, force in one direction, but the work is being done in another direction. For example, by while pulling the water from the well, we can see that we are applying the downward force but the bucket is pulled upward. So by these four processes, a simple machine make our work easy, simple, fast and safe also. Type of simple machine. So there are six different types of simple machine. There are first is lever, we know it. Second is wheel and axle, in which we have a wheel and axle pulley, then inclined plane, then screw and finally weights. We will be discussing about these all types in our next uh, classes also. Let's discuss about liver today. So talking about liver, a liver is a long rigid bar, means a strong bar which can be bent or straight and which is able to rotate which is able to rotate about a fixed point and that fixed point is known as the pivot or fulcrum for example here this lever the long bar is rotating about this fulcrum the supporting point a lever has three parts namely load we can see here the work that is being done or the work to be done or the load to be lifted is known as the load. So here this one ton is the load. Then second one is the effort means the force to be applied to do the work. So here from this point the force is being applied to do the work and because of that it is the effort. And third one is the pivot or the fulcrum which is the supporting point. Here we can see the fulcrum as the supporting point and through the fulcrum only the lever can freely rotate. Similarly, we should know the two more points here. The first one is load distance, also known as the load arm, and second one is the effort distance, also known as effort arm. Talking about the load arm first, the distance of load, distance of load. So the distance of this load from the fulcrum from the fulcrum. So the distance of load from the fulcrum is known as the load distance or load amp and similarly the distance of effort from the if fulcrum is known as the effort distance. The distance of effort from the fulcrum is known as the effort distance. So once again load to fulcrum is load distance. Similarly fulcrum to effort is the effort distance. We will be using it also. Types of lever. 
on the basis of position of fulcrum load and effort there are three types of lever the first one is first class lever in which fulcrum is in the middle so the lever in which fulcrum is in the middle is known as the first class lever so here if you see this figure uh, this is load here and here it is the effort and here in the middle we can see the fulcrum so this kind of lever in which fulcrum is in between load and effort is known as the first class lever a first class lever can magnify effort it can also help to do the work faster and it can also change the direction of force so all three ways a first class lever can help to do our work example are seesaw in which fulcrum is in the middle pliers in which also the fulcrum or the supporting point is in the middle then seizure in which seizure also the supporting point is in the lever and a crowbar which is used to lift stones and so on in crowbar also the fulcrum is in the middle the second class lever in which load is in the middle means a lever in which load is in between fulcrum and effort is known as the second class lever so if we see this lever here fulcrum is at one side and effort is at another side and load is in the middle and because of that since load is in the middle here it is known as the second class lever a second class lever can only magnify effort but it cannot help to do the work in faster fast way means it cannot reduce the time but it can only magnify the effort example of second class lever are bottle opener in which load is in the middle lemon squeezer here also load is in the middle wheelbarrow in wheelbarrow also we keep load in the middle and not cracker in not cracker also not is kept in between if uh, fulcrum and effort here the next class is the third class lever in which effort is in the middle so once again uh, we have to remember it by the formula f l e flee in first class fulcrum is in the middle in second class load is in the middle and in third class effort is in the middle so the lever in which effort is in between fulcrum and load is known as the third class lever so if we see this lever here the fulcrum is at one side load is at another side and effort is being applied in the middle of these two and since effort is in the middle effort distance is always less effort distance means distance from effort to fulcrum is always less than the load distance and because of this this kind of lever cannot magnify the effort but it can help doing the work faster so example of this kind of lever are shovel spoon fishing rod sugar tong etc if you see this you can see here effort is applied in the middle here also effort will be applied in the middle and here also effort will be applied in the middle and even in the fire tongue also or sugar tongue also and the effort will be applied at the middle next we'll be discussing about the principle of lever today principle here means the law of lever so the principle of lever states that in a balanced condition the product the product of load and load distance is equal to the product of effort and effort distance effort and effort distance so let's see here it is the fulcrum over here and distance from fulcrum to load is known as load distance or load arm similarly the distance from fulcrum to effort will be known as effort arm or effort distance mathematically we can write that load into load distance is equal to effort into effort distance that means l into ld is equal to e into ed so suppose here in this case load is 50 newton and which is 
at 50 centimeter away from the fulcrum 50 Newton and which is 50 meter away from the fulcrum means low distance is 50 meter then for that case we should apply 250 Newton of effort at the distance of 10 centimeter away how because we know that 50 centimeter into 50 Newton will be always equal to 250 Newton into 10 centimeter and that will give us 1500 and 2500 at the both side it means that the product of load and load distance is always equal to the product of effort and effort distance and this is called the principle of labor so this much for today uh, rest of the thing we'll be learning in next video so till then thank you and stay safe and keep learning